why you shouldn't buy a home with a friend or a sibling, even if that's the only way to get on the property ladder. Your property or wealth explains pitfalls of buying with a friend or a sibling. The buyer's agent said a borrower would be liable if co-buyer defaulted on loan director Daniel. Walsh outlined what could be done to restore creditworthiness by Stephen Johnson for Daily Mail Australia published, 11 o'clock British Summer Time, 5 August 2019, updated, 11 o'clock British Summer Time, 5 August 2019 Young people hoping to enter Australia's property market are being urged to avoid buying a home with a friend or a sibling. Real estate in Australia's biggest cities is particularly unaffordable with Sydney's median house price of $864,933 more than 10 times an average time salary of $83,500 to get a loan, someone has to earn more than $150,000 to obtain a typical suburban house with a backyard, leading to a growing number of young people buying an investment property with a friend or a relative. Young people hoping to enter Australia's property market are being urged to avoid buying a home with a friend or a sibling, pictured as a stock image of two young friends, Daniel Walsh, a director of the Your Property Your Wealth Buyers agent, said. Someone co-buying a home would be financially liable if the other person defaulted, that's because if your co-owner defaults on their mortgage repayments, the lender will seek to recover the repayment amount from you, he told Daily Mail Australia on Monday. Mr. Walsh said a co-buyer's inability to pay their share of an investment property loan could also affect the reliable borrower's ability to get another mortgage. He illustrated this scenario with someone buying a property with their best friend or brother only to discover later, through a mortgage broker, they now had a bad credit history. Jeff tells you that, according to lenders, you are responsible for the entire loan of the property that you bought with Julie or Josh, Mr. Walsh said. So, within a few minutes, you've learned that you thought you had borrowings of only $300,000 being half of the loan of the property, but, in fact, lenders will take into account the entire loan amount of $600,000. Daniel Walsh, a director of the Your Property Your Wealth Buyers agent, said someone co-buying a home would be financially liable if the other person defaulted how much you need to earn to buy a median price house Sydney, $154,000, $864,993 home, Melbourne, $126,000, $710,151 home, Brisbane, $95,000, $533,295 home, Adelaide, $82,000, $461,000, $651 home, Perth, $81,600, $459,227 home, Hobart, $86,000, $482,044 home, Canberra, $117,000, $657,686 home, Darwin, $76,000, $472,467 home, Sources, CoreLogic, Know How Property Finance, Technically, it's called being jointly and severally responsible for the entire loan, Mr. Walsh said a borrower in this situation could offer to either buy or sell their share of the property from their co-buyer, that would be the only way to improve their creditworthiness to get another mortgage, that way you would either have no borrowings and a lump sum of capital growth cash to your name or you would at least have the rent included as income in your serviceability calculation, which would help you change the goalposts some would, Mr. Walsh said. In any case, financial advice is recommended before making a purchase with someone who is not a spouse or a partner. Real estate in Australia's biggest cities is particularly unaffordable with Sydney's median house price of $864,933 more than 10 times an average time salary of $83,500.